Hello friends, so let us study about the principle of user interface design. Now, there are general principles creating a user interface design as described. So it is an extension of a person. It's a, an interface is an extension of a person. This means a system and its software must reflect a person's capabilities and its response to the specific users. Later, this is useful accomplishing your business objectives, certain goals, and more effectively than previously uses method or tool. So, interface should serve as both connector and a separator. So, let us study about the principles and Principles. The first principle is accessibility. So it means a system should be usable by the people of different capabilities, a different with a special without a special design or modification. So originally this term accessibility in design was directed towards making a system usable for people with dis 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 disabilities. So what happens is even a ability person and disability person they all have access to the system because the system is designed in such a way so there is a four characteristics available with this like perceptibility what it has perceived what that person has perceived what they have understood and how much they have interacted operability is this the operation full simplicity and forgiveness the uh, perceptibility assure the system design can be perceived uh, to a person's sensory abilities, operability assures that the system design just can be used regardless of a person's physical abilities. And system simplicity assures that all users can easily understand and uses the system. And forgiveness assures that the system minimizes the occurrence and consequences of errors. So next is aesthetically pleasing, and it provides a design or aesthetic. Or visually pleasing comp composition is an attractive to the eye. So whatever we feel is attractive, whatever aesthetic we feel, it just touches the eye and we'll see wow. Just the adjective comes wow. So this visual appearing makes a system, computer system accessible and inviting. And the lack of visually pleasing composition is disorienting. So visual uh, appeal is terribly important today because human computer communication occur in the visual brain. So visual appeal is provided by providing meaningful contrast between your screen elements, your groupings, your alignment screen, providing three-dimensional representation and so on. So next is availability. So availability is that all aspects of system should be available at any time in any sequence whenever demanded and avoid to use of more state of interface in which normally available actions are no longer available. And clarity. Next is clarity. The interface should be visually, conceptually, and linguistically. So that means that it should be clear in visual appearance, concept, and wordings. Visual elements should make the uh, user to un understand relating the uh, real world concepts and functions. So they could be metaphor or terms should be realistic and simple. Next is compatibility. So it has a user compatibility as well as task compatibility. So now if we look at the user compatibility, the design that must be appropriate and it's compatible with the compatible with the needs of the user or client. So common error is to assume that all users think, feel and behave exactly like a developer No. So what happens is a system should build according to your user. So first thing is know your user, which is the fundamental principle in interface design. If you design a software product life cycle, if you design an interface design, it is about the know your user first. Because accordingly, your interactive system should behave what the user wants. So user compatibility happens only if you understand the true offers. Then task and job compatibility. So this, the organization of a system should match the task a person must do to perform the job, the structure and the flow of functions should permit easy transition between the tasks. And it should not force to navigate between the application on many screens. Then you have configurability. configurability. So this means the interface should be tolerable to individual users and desires. That means it should be personalizations and customizations to configuration and reconfiguration of a system which enhances the sense of control. 
encourages active role of understanding, which leads to high user satisfaction. Then next you have a consistency. Consistency means designing consistency is a common thread that runs through these guidelines. So they may have like more specialization by system skills, greater demands of for higher skills, more preparation time and less production time, more frequent changes in the procedure, more error tolerance system, more kinds of documentation, more time to find information and document, more unleaning and leaning that systems that change and so on. So these types of inconsistencies in design are caused by difference in people. Even in the opinion, if they do have a difference, so this has this barrier should uh, should be resolved to user achieving and maintaining high performance. So excess learning requirements becomes a barrier to user achieving and maintaining high performance can ultimately influence user acceptance of the system. Then you have next is control. So the control is like people can have access exercise that control, the administrative control over what the system do. So control is feeling in charge, feeling the system in response in responding to your action. So feeling is like machine is controlling you. Nowadays, this is a simple example. If I give you how many of you cannot leave, how many of you can leave without cell phone or your mobile phone and internet connection? Make a challenge one day, one day just make yourself free from phone, internet, and so on. Will you will you be able to survive? No, not a single minute we survive. We always have a phone, iPad, tab, machine, and etc. So this is like we should control ourselves. Like controlling is feeling is feel in charge, feeling that the system is responding to your action. So feeling that a machine is controlling you is demoralizing and frustrating. This should be avoided. Controlling is achieved when a person works at his or her own space and is able to determine what to do and how to do it. Then you have so there's a simple, predictable, consistent, flexible, customizable, and passive interfaces control. So lack of control is signaled by un unavailable system, long delays in system. Then you have a directness. Then a directness is like tasks should be performed directly. Available alternative should be visible, reducing in user mental workload. So directness is all the best, is also best provided by the object action sequence like a direct manipulations next you have efficiency now uh, hand eye normally eye and hand coordinates must not be washed away once attention must be captured by the elements of the screen when needed so that sequential eye movements between the screen elements should be predictable obvious and short but they just must be easily scannable always try to anticipate user wants and needs Then, as at each step in a process, present the user information and tool to complete the process. Next is we finish with the efficiency, then familiarity. Build on the user existence knowledge, especially that they have gained from experiencing the real world. Build into the uh, interface concept, terminology, workflows, and arrangements that are already familiar to the users. So, familiar concept engage people to get to know and become productive quickly then flexibility flexibility is the system's ability to respond to individual difference in people permit people to choose the method of interaction which is appropriate to the situation so flexibility is not without dangers generally it increases a system's usability as it increases use system usability decreases so even a amateur person should not be exposed to system flexibility at the start, but only to gain the experience. The concept of progressive disclosure to be discussed in simplicity guideline. And another problem with flexibility is not always be used. Some people prefer to continue doing things in what way they learn first, but whether they change with the time or whether they adopt that old technology that depends so we need to address these solutions like how flexible our system can be then next is forgiveness forgiveness is people like to explore and they learn by trial and error method so a system oversensitive to erroneous inputs will discourage user from exploring and trying new things 
So learning will be in inhibited and people will be over cautious and working slowly and carefully to avoid mistakes. So product for productivity it will be suffer. And a fear of making a phobia, a fear of making mistake and not being able to recover from it. It's like a main uh, main thing dealing main fear for the dealing of the dealing with the computer. So prevent errors from occurring by anticipating where mistakes may occur and design to prevent them. Then you have emotions. Like emotion is a state of mental focus so intense that awareness and sense of the real world is lost. We are immersed so much in movie that has so much of animation, so much of graphics that we just wonder how actually this has been made. So this means Challenges that can be overcome, contact where the person can focus with significant distraction, clearly defined goals, immediate feedback about actions and overall performance. So, emotion is emotion is characterized by a loss of awareness and worry and frustrations of everyday life. So, even uh, for example, this can be related to like, uh, in fact, if you are pressurized with some missions, your examination, and you just want to feel fresh for a day you just want to release this burden what you do what you do you go and watch movie so when you watch the movie the animations or thrilling the action you forget about your daily worries everyday life tension is reduced and loss of occurrence regarding of matter of self like awareness you cannot feel hungry or thirsty because you are still immerse yourself in some activity then you have obviousness assistant obviousness all objects and controls should be visible and initiative their function should be identified or identifiable the design of a control should suggest how it is operated a system should be understandable flowing in compassable obvious and meaningful order strong cues to the operation of subject should be presented then you have operability Operability requires a system always be usable regardless of a system physical abilities. Operability is achieving by minimum repetition, action and sustenance and physical effort. Fostering control using taking effort the intent obvious and the large size enough for easy activations. Then you have perceptibility. Then perceptibility is every user must be able to perceive a design regardless of sensory abilities like feel it. For example, iconic as well as textual representation, color as well as monochromatic presentations. Then you have predictability. Then predictability is like task display movements through a system should be anticipable based on user previous knowledge or experience. So current operation should provide clues to what will come next. So anticipation of predictability reduce mistake and enable user to complete tasks more quickly. All expectations possessed by user should be fulfilled uniformly and completely. Then you have recover. The recover is a person should be able to retract or reverse or action by uh, issuing an undo command. So knowing that an action should be reversed reduces much of his distress of new user. So, goal of stability or returning easily to the right track where the wrong track has been taken. A recovery should be obvious, automatic, and easy and natural to perform. So, in short, it should be very, it should not be very hard, and in user should be easily re undo the thing which has made it a wrong. So, always ensure that the user never lose their work as a result of their own errors or technical glitches. Then you have responsiveness. Responsiveness a user request must be responded to quickly. Knowledge of results or feedback is necessary for learning ingredients. It shapes human performance and instill confidence. Like substantial or more informative feedback is most common for the casual or new system user. Its expert users are often content to receive more modest feedback. Then you have next is safety. Safety is to eliminate the opportunity for mistake and confusion. Always provide memory support for the user. Then you have transparency. Transparency says that how your uh, information are displayed. Never force the user to think about the technical detail of the system. So 
one thoughts must be directed to the task not the computer communication process then there is a trade off then trade off is design guidelines often we often cover a great deal of territory and often conflict with one another with the technical requirements so in such conflict the designer must weigh the alternative and research the decision based on conquering accuracy time cost and ease so human requirements always take precedence over the technical requirements it may be easy for design to write a program or a build a device but that neglects user is but the final system is developed then you have a visibility visibility is systems are most systems are most more usable when they clearly indicate their status the possible action that can be taken and the result of actions once they perform so hierarchical organization supports place information of control into logical categories they hide their under parent control such as meta a category may name remains visible but the information remains hidden until activated then you have a context sensitivity presence hide uh, presence and hide information and control based upon the existing system context so degree of visibility of information control should correspond to the relevance so we finish with the principle of user interface design